Now let's get to some football. St. X taking their five-game winning streak on the road tonight, wrapping up at PRP. Panthers look to bounce back after a rough outing last week against Manuel. Caden Anderson is going to hit Kendrick Jackson in the flat for the two-point conversion. That was, of course, after a touchdown. It's now 14-8 St. X. Tigers with an answer. Jack Savory deep to Jackson Capasano for the long touchdown. St. X leads 20 to 8 later in the game. Trevor Hill getting some reps at QB for the Tigers. And it's Jackson Capasano again. He's a made man for that touchdown. St. X rolls to victory as they beat PRP 49 22. Butler at home tonight facing Manuel Crimson's with the ball. Darian Wilson looking downfield decides, you know what? I'm going to keep it myself. Good decision. Look at him getting through the arm tackle. Finally brought down inside the five yard line. That would lead to this man, Jawan Northington. Too easy for him from just a yard out. Manuel takes the lead. Bears trying to get a spark on special teams, but the Crimson's just swarming the football. We got a fumble and a scoop and score by Amari Townsend. Manuel big over Butler tonight, 46 to eight. Now over to Mail, where it was senior night for the top-ranked Bulldogs as they hosted the Chargers of Bullet East. Bulldogs facing a fourth and long, going for it. Nick Shuddy connects with his tight end, Hanson Shelton, picking up the first down with a little flip at the end. Drive continues. Eventually, it's time to get the ball to Daniel Sweeney. Good decision. Works his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Mail on top. Chargers with an answer. Travis Egan is going to find Bryce Hoover. They get the ball out of the hands so quick. The chains are moving at the five-yard line. Close to the goal line now, Mason Gauthier punches it in. Mail would eventually create some separation. Dogs win at 55-14. The old rivalry back next week. Over at Southern, the Trojans were hosting the Tigers of Fern Creek. Tigers down 14 to 7, looking to try to tie it up before the end of the first half. But Dutt Athoba applying the pressure comes up with the sack. Fern Creek backed up, but still looking to get something going through the air. Pass picked off by Antonio Stewart. He's going to take it down to the 20 yard line. 30 seconds to go before the end of the half. Southern makes it pay off. Jacoby Burton around the right side, somehow, some way. Finds his way into the end zone. Southern goes on to beat Fern Creek 27 to 19. Trinity looking to build some momentum as we approach the playoffs at home tonight. Hosting Eastern Brady Willis. He's going to buy some time. Rolling out hits Colin Bratcher for the touchdown. 14 to 7 rocks. Now Trinity getting defensive. Blitz Isaiah Smith with the sack. He didn't have a chance. More from Willis. This time he's going to go around the left side, keeps it himself. And Brady Willis just inside the pylon for the score. Trinity wins big over Eastern 56 to 21. Ballard at home tonight against Scott County. With time expiring at the end of the first half, Will Bame with the field goal to give the Bruins the lead heading into the locker room. Remember that third quarter Ballard with a nice drive. Cannon Weish, all 5'10", 230 pounds of him. Finishes the drive in style. 17 to 7 Ballard. Cardinals with an answer. Jeremy Hamilton to pay dirt. But this night belonged to Ballard. They win it by three. 24 21.